welcome to this video about the safety polka card. In another video you learned how to calculate the number of polka cards for a loop between two workstations. In this short video we will explain how to use a safety polka card in case of disruptions in supply by external suppliers or non-polka cells. It can happen that there is a delay due to shortage of parts or components supplied by a non-polka cell or an external supplier. In this case, the job waits in a cell without proceeding and work done on the job. The cell holds a polka card but work can be done for another job. So how to do this in polka? The answer is a safety polka card. Suppose you have two workstations, station A and station B. And station B holds a polka card, so A cannot start working on a job. But in this case, workstation B does not have the necessary materials yet to finish the job. This presents a problem in polka. Workstation B is not working on a job, so station A could send work to B. But A has no polka card that authorizes the start of a job. This polka card is stuck at workstation B. Such situations can be resolved by attaching a safety polka card to the job order. A safety polka card looks the same as a polka card with some visual distinction to distinguish it from a normal polka card. The use of safety cards is done in the following way. Once the issue has been detected, the normal polka card is replaced by a safety card and the job remains in the cell, while the polka card is released back in the system to allow other jobs to be processed. Safety cards are typically designed to be 10% of the total number of cards for that loop. So then, some remarks can be made. Safety cards are typically authorized and circulated by one individual on the shop floor. A production manager, scheduler, etc. If the disruption is gone, this individual takes the card out of the system again. Safety cards are temporary solutions for unplanned events. If the problem persists, more concrete steps should be taken to resolve the cause. 